There we go. All right. Hello, everyone. Happy fucking Wednesday morning. Uh, welcome back. This is a wild fucking time. We are playing a game that I've bought over eight years ago and have not played since. <laughs> Hello, Hero. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, the reason that I waited so long to play this game is uh, for a couple reasons. Like, realistically, it was a thing of, one, uh, I couldn't play it because originally I had bought it and it was like, oh, it's Windows only. It's not for MacBook. So I was like, well, that fucking sucks. And two, uh, I wanted to play this on stream for a while now. And I didn't know if it would be okay. Because I was like, is this going to get me like TOS striked or some shit like that? And then I kind of looked into it more and I was like, oh no, there are other people that definitely play this game. So I'm like, oh fuck yeah. Um, this is Sonicami, uh, communication with Super Sonico. Uh, from what I understand about this game is that you are a... I don't know, an amateur photographer and all that stuff. And if you do certain things, you're supposed to, like, get a relationship with Super Sonico. And there's supposedly 18 endings. I don't know how far we're going to get, but this is going to be kind of like one of our... I cleared the game on release. Truly one of the experiences of all time. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's super funny. Um, With the fact that I got into Super Sonico maybe, like, I don't know, 10 plus years ago and all that shit. <laughs> in general and uh we are playing the english version because as much as i would love to play the japanese uh voice dub or yeah voice dub um it sounded a little too young for my liking it made me feel like oh this feels like it's gonna go into borderline t uh uncomfortable territory for some folks it's like oh she's supposed to be 18 guys but she sounds like she's just, like I don't know, 14 or 15. I'm like, mmm, the voice acting. <laughs> so instead, we're playing fucking English with uh, Jessica Negri, if I recall, as the actual voice actor for Sonico. So that will be interesting. But yeah, I've never played this before. I kind of had to um, play the first couple minutes yesterday because I was like, okay, what's the difference between English and the Japanese voice acting? And then I realized immediately, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't do Japanese on stream. <laughs> It also gives me a little bit of headway between um, her talking, so I don't have to worry about saying her dialogue at all, so that kind of makes it easy, too. So I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, yeah, let's definitely jump into this, though. Um, recommended for experienced FPS players. Really? You will earn the standard mouse down your coins. Recommend for beginners. Uh, I kind of know how to play FPS, so fuck it. I'll, I'll just go normal and we'll see what happens. I think this will be fine, right? Totally. Totally. Uh, definitely please let me know if the volume is too funky. Because I know it's on standard default settings, which means that music is kind of, you know, supposed to be a little higher, but also uh, voice acting will be different too. Ah, my eyes! <laughs> I'm so blind. <laughs> oh, and I, I can actually see shit on the bottom. Thank God. Last time when I was looking at this, it was like, my thing was too big, so I'm like, oh, that's what I get for playing in windowed, I guess. The little throb of the bass and drums reverberates through my body. I'll put auto mode. This will make it easier. The clanging of the cymbals rock my head, and the wail of the guitar shocks my eardrums. No, yeah, fuck it, let's just click it. Cheers surge from the audience in response to the band's enthusiasm. Oh, Jesus, the burgers! The burgers! <laughs> it's these nuts. How are you? <laughs> ah. But the only sound that concerns me is the soft snappy of the camera shutters in my hands. Okay, hold on. I gotta check something real quick. Uh, Config menu. Skip unread text. Highly pre... Text speed. Here we go. Ten. Perfect. I want to change that because it's like super slow. Uh, nope, that's fine. Okay. It is a lot of burger and a lot of sausage. Hey, fuck yeah. And the milk. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know why it's so huge. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, with each nap, I catch a snip of reality before it has a chance to disappear. I'm just going to keep reading while you throw shit at me. <laughs> that's my life. The world captured by my camera. The interlude ends. The vocalist, who was leaning over the audience, psyching them up, returns to center stage and starts singing again. Hmm. 
He's good. Beautiful, even. My camera naturally focuses on him. I click the shutter again and again. I probably take enough shots near the stage by now. Now I need to take some wider shots. I crouch down a little and make my way around the edge of the crowd towards the back of the theater. Bringing my camera up, uh, up again, I sweep the viewfinder over the audience, searching for a good angle. Hmm? What was that? I think I just saw something strange. I close my eyes, massaging the space between my eyebrows for a second. Then I turn my gaze back to the area that seemed strange to me before. I know it. Headphones. Big expensive looking headphones jump out at me. What the heck? Did somebody drop them? Maybe they're being held up by the mass of people? No, wait, they're moving to the beat of the music. Wait, they're actually attached to a head? What a fucking weird comment to make. <laughs> I can see a small head in between the ear pads. Hmm, strange way to enjoy a concert, but to each your own. Before I do it, my gaze is fixed on the girl wearing the headphones. I can't quite see her face. Oh, for a split second, I glimpse her profile. Oh, I love her. She's such a baby. I love her, though. She's cute. I should snap a photo of her. Yeah, there's something about this moment that makes me want to capture it. As a photographer, of course. Not a pick up a tempo or anything like that. Oh, yeah, stalker energy. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I grip my trusty DSLR. I'd like to get a closer shot, but I don't think I'd get to change the lens. I'll just zoom in as far as I can and... Wow! Wow. <laughs> hey! Ah, the audience just got really fucking pumped. Crap, the guy gets some pictures though. I'll just have to give up on that girl for now. What a freak! I sound like a fucking freak! God! I focus on the stage just to start snapping pictures again. Oh, excellent. Everyone the audience has the fist in the air, pumping it towards the stage. I can tell that the band, too, is giving it their all. I managed to dab a spot that gives me the perfect angle on the stage. Nice, I should be able to get some exciting shots from here. The energy in the room surges and the audience members slam against each other. Whoa, it's turned into a mosh pit. Oh, good God. <laughs> this is crazy. The, mos the moshers push towards the center. There's some space at the end of the audience now. I think I can get closer. I slip around the growing mosh pit and head towards the stage. Man, this rules. This is the true thrill of concert photography. I can hear something like a roar, perhaps, coming from the mosh pit. Oh man, the vocalist is really getting into it now! Oh, Jessica, do you agree? You're killing me. <laughs> He's hanging out over the crowd, shouting to rally up the audience even more. This will be an awesome shot! It's so nice to see, like, the range of fucking Jessica Negri, too. Because it's like, um... You know, she did Ruby in Simon Falls, or whatever her name is, and a couple other characters, too. Nice! Wait, what was that? <laughs> I turned towards the voice coming from the mosh pit, and those headphones were earlier leaping the view. Can we talk about the slow? <laughs> Along with the person wearing them. It looks like she's doing... What are they calling again? All oh, right, a flying body press. <laughs> Can we talk about the slow everything? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel a pleasant elasticity on my face, and immediately after, hard concrete striking the back of my head. Wow! 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 I sound like fucking. <laughs> Mario or Waluigi. Oh, I could see the Big Dipper. Wait, my camera! I gasped, snapping my head up and looking down. It stayed safely on top of me. I must have instantly protected it with my body. Phew! This lens alone cost me my entire savings. Crisis averted. After a heavy sigh, I managed to calm down a bit. Oh, is that girl okay? I guess I should get up. It's not exactly safe down here. I stick my right hand out and, um... Huh? That's weird. Why is the concrete so fucking soft? Hmm. If the floor was this soft, it would have hurt my head. Hurt when I hit my head. <laughs> I laughed dryly at the back of my head. The palm of my hand has gotten a bit sweaty. I mean, I pretty much figured out the reason. But well, I can't take my hand off the 
the floor. It must be instinct. I can't help it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. You can do it. My heart's pounding. The fingers of my right hand are slight starting to twitch. Oh, no. <laughs> this is why this is 18 plus, kids. <laughs> I tear my right hand away reflexively, mouth agape in a silent scream. I tense my abdominal muscles, straightening out my body, and spin 90 degrees to the right. Why is her tits so massive? I never understood that. I was like, uh, thanks. <laughs> there she is. Her skin is soft and white, her features cute and innocent. Though petite, her body is curvaceous with a thin waist. All right. And her chest, that must have been what I felt just a moment ago when I... <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh, I think it's so fucking funny. Gotta look at those titties. They're big. And they were really soft. <laughs> Whoa, snap out of it. Enough about that. I gotta wake her up. Question is how. I like how they're like, you can touch and you're like, you can touch the titties or a tubby. It's like, alright. <laughs> Are you okay? I shake away my impure thoughts and give her a cheek a little slap. I mean, she might be hurt, but I gotta make sure she's conscious. Oh, hey, she's awake. Hey, you okay? She's totally out of it, and now my heart's racing again. I need to calm down. Oh, this music is really loud. Hold on. Config menu. A voice volume's at six, bro. That is not six. Sure, let's go with that. Are you okay? She shoots up and bows deeply. Wow, she's pretty polite. Guess she was raised well. I'm going to change that volume real quick. There we go. Oh, no, nah, it's fine. I was just too focused on my photography. My camera's fine, so don't worry about it. You were taking pictures? Yeah, my friend asked me to, so um, I left my camera to show her. No, of course not. Totally. I'm fine, I'm fine. What about you? Are you hurt? Oh, no. Pat, 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 pat. She started patting all over her body, as if to confirm her unharmed condition. She looks so serious, that's kind of cute. I think I'm okay. <laughs> Suddenly she gets really shy and gives me a bright smile like flowers blooming in spring. I think it's something about the texture of the clothes is what's bothering me about why her tits are so massive. I'm like, this is, shirt looks so deformed, it's wild. Uh, the difference from a previous serious expression is striking. I feel myself getting flustered. Well, that's good. Uh, I'm so sorry for worrying you. Meanwhile, it seems the concert has ended. The audience is still energetic, calling for an encore towards the quiet stage. What to do? For some reason, I'm really interested in this girl. But it's not a romantic eye attraction, it's almost like instinct. What a freak. You mean that primal urge to fuck? God damn. <laughs> I can't stop looking at her. <laughs> as I'm staring at her, she starts to look a little confused. Then lowers her eyes as if embarrassed. Man, she's expressive. Um, is there something on my face? You know, I have so many questions, girl. Ah, no, it's nothing. But there is something bothering me. It's those headphones. They haven't budged at all since our little accident. They're just glued on, guy. Don't worry. I get to feel I should pry, though. Yeah, everybody's got something you should ask them about. I should get back to the concert. And actually, I'm a little nervous. I've never been very good at talking to girls. Gee, I wonder why. Besides, photography is just my hobby. It's not like I'm a pro or anything. I'm more into shooting landscapes anyways. I haven't done much of anything else. Even so, I'm interested in her. I don't know why. I guess it must be instinct. Hmm. Well, you only live once. Hey, are you interested in modeling? She's like, what? Yeah! Whatever she's about to say is drowned out by a loud cheer. 
Looks like the band's back for an encore. Crap, I've gotta get some pictures. The headphone girl runs off towards the stage again. Wait a minute. Aw, come on. <laughs> oh, well. It's not like the room is that big. I'll just try to catch her on her way out. I look my camera again and point at the stage. Oh, boy. Alas, I ended up regretting that decision. I searched everywhere after the concert, but the headphone girls know where to be found. I asked my friend, but he does not know of any headphone-wearing girls among the band's fans. Neither does the owner of the club. Was it just a dream? An illusion for my troubled mind? Yeah, I just imagined to uh, a pick me girl. No, that's ridiculous. Because at some point, I took a picture. She's like a fucking Bigfoot! <laughs> it's so blurry! <laughs> it's unfocused and blurry as hell, but she's definitely there in this picture. This picture is my only proof that this girl was real. That's so fucking silly. Bruh. Yeah, let's save my game. Fuck it. The Mushishino Residence? Alright. A gentle line sh light shines down on me. Where am I? What the fuck is this? Pictures. I gotta take pictures. But pictures of what? Over here. Huh? I'm over here. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, of course. It's her. She runs from me, her white dress fluttering in the wind. I have to take her picture. No. It's not that I have to. I want to. The camera's hanging from my neck. It's lighter than air. Wait. Please wait. I chase her through the light. She runs from me laughing. Her gentle laughter reaches my ears on the wind. The lightning has... The light has become that of warm sunbeams. Sand buried, burns beneath my feet. She frolics at the edge of the water. I click the shutter, entranced. I take dozens and dozens of pictures, but her face is never captured in them. Okay. Why? I... I... I'm a freak. That's what I'm learning. I'm hearing her laughter. She's getting farther and farther away, but for some reason, her laughter keeps getting louder. Why? Eh heh heh. Eh Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. Oh, that's a lot of beeps. Damn. I get out of bed to find my alarm clock ringing on the floor. Flustered, I stop the alarm and check the time. Uh, today is right. Nothing I need to be at work early for. Once I realize, I feel myself relax. I don't really want to get going yet. My head still needs to finish booting up. What a nerd. That dream again. I wonder who she is. I could never see the girl's face. Ah... Uh... I love a rather dopey sigh. Maybe I should be more worried about this. My own voice seems foreign, even though it's coming from my own mouth. A girl whose picture I couldn't take. I feel like that happened in reality, too. I'm suddenly reminded of a certain picture. A picture I took right before graduating, while I was shooting a concert at a friend's request. I wonder what that head girl girl is up to now. Man, she was cute. The way her expressions kept changing, her little gestures. Not to mention that body of hers! Oh, I'm a freak. Goddamn. Or er, maybe it was too early for that kind of thoughts. Alright. I shake myself out of the fuck and give my cheeks a slap. Today's gonna be another great day. I just imagine him bending over and slapping his ass. <laughs> a cameraman depends on his body. Health comes first. Always wear a cheerful smile. Man, I'm a man. I don't even get to change my gender. This is fucked up. But also understandable. Alright. When I Jake shout, I head for the bathroom. I always strike... Strive to ask briefly and with purpose. I wash my face, shave, brush my teeth, the usual routine. It's been almost a year since I graduated school and started working at my current studio. Until then, I was basically self-taught, but although photography was mostly just a hobby, I've been toying with the thought of going pro for a while. I can't tell if we're, like, out of high school or out of college, because they're just like, we graduated. But sure, whatever. I've applied to a few students without luck, and now my pictures have won a sore prize. But then my day came. A photographer who was judging a contest I entered took a shine to me. He offered me a job, and I've been under his wing ever since. It's not that your submissions were any good. You were the only one who did take the boring cookie cutter route. I don't need an assistant stuck in bad habits. I want something fresh, and you fit the bill. I think that's what he meant was, I want you because you're an amateur. 
Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I really worked my ass off after that. As a freelancer photographer, there's no telling what tomorrow might hold, but my mentor is a man who has survived and thrived in that harsh world. His work is far beyond what an amateur like me could help to accomplish. When I look at his photos, I feel a strange sense of anarchy. He's a noted womanizer and boozer and says some crazy things at times, but that's just on the surface. They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, and he's living proof. Whether he's shooting scenery or people, he's always drawn out the beauty that hides deep within his subjects. It's all thanks to his precise eye and superhuman focus. Sure, let's go with that. I tried de desperately to keep up with him. As a result, I think my photos look quite different now than they did a year ago. But, um... I get myself dressed and stand at the front of my desk. A post-it with today's task is pinned to the corkboard. And next to it are two pictures, each of the same model on the same set. One is my mentor's and one is mine. There's a clear difference between the two. Yes, there are technical differences such as pose and composition, but that's not what I meant. I talk about the relationship between the photographer and the model. There's a difference of the level of trust the model has for the photographer, or at least that's how it seems to me. Of course, it was my mentor's first time meeting that model too, so we should have been on the same footing. Your landscape shots ain't half bad, but you got a long way to go when it comes to shooting people. I don't know why I gave him like the, uh, a mobster voice, but sure. I recall what my mentor said to me. He was right. I don't really know why, but I'm terrible at taking photos of people. I don't mean groups of people. The pictures I took at the concert weren't bad. The pictures I take of a single subject, though, however, suck ass. Or rather, they lack spirit somehow. I wonder why. I let out a sigh. Hey, now that I think about it, I started having that dream after our mentor brought this up. Oh crap, I'm gonna be late. Lights off, gas off, weather off. Got my phone. Lastly, I make sure everything's locked up and fly out of my apartment. Wish we're fucking Superman. I run on the path I always take gain some light exercise. I move at a slightly faster pace than usual today. The pleasant weather makes the recent chills seem like a lie. I feel a warmth energizing my body. I'm able to shift gears into work mode right away. Alrighty, I can see the office down the street. I will say the the, the background's kinda cute, but it's kinda crazy what's like super zoomed in. There's a girl standing there. Or, like, blurry. I wonder if she's come to fill a job request or something. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't keep her waiting, did I? Hmm. Huh? Huh. What? It's Bigfoot! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Fister. Hello. Hope you're having a fantastic time. I stopped dead in my tracks. <laughs> We're playing Super Sonic Go. It's her! The girl I met at that concert a year ago and haven't stopped masturbating about. <laughs> Why is she... I put the question into words unsubconsciously. At first, it looks like she's worried about something, but then she starts humming. Don't have time to watch, unfortunately, but have fun. Yeah, no worries. Y'all have a good day, though. Uh, wherever you're doing or going to bed. I, I you know, a little bit of both. <laughs> ah, the sausage! Ah! <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> then she started fidgeting and she started staring off into space. Girl, why are you twerking like that? She's really all over the place. I feel myself smiling. My chest fills with warmth. Don't do weird stuff to that girl. <laughs> Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi, Solstice. <laughs> I wonder why she's here. Nah, that doesn't matter. It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance. It must be fate that brought us back together again. This time, ask her the model for me. No, wait. I'm still not good at photography people. I shake my head. That kind of negativity will get me nowhere. All right, let's go. I look forward, determined, and... Huh? She's gone. Figment of her imagination! Thank God. Whoosh. An unreasonably cold wind blows by with a melancholy sound. This is very anime-esque. Damn it, I lost my chance again. I know, stalking Riz. We love that Riz, what are you talking about? I love her looks. <laughs> and I'm like, too! Eee, eee, eee. Dolphin noises. I imagine this is like a half man, half dolphin man. <laughs> I dash frantically into the office. That's why he always dreams of the ocean. Good morning. Sorry for being late. Of course, there's no one actually in the office to hear. Well, to be exact, there's one person in the back, but my mentor doesn't have any assistance other than me. He outsources most of the office work. It doesn't really pay any mind to emails, faxes, or the phone. His theory is that if people want our work, they'll come to us. That's a terrible mindset, bruh. <laughs> and we do get work. 
His skills are a factor, of course, but I think it's also because of his charisma. He's a guy you just can't hate. So it's not like anyone's going to be mad at me for being late. It's just a mood thing, you know? We basically have an agreed upon time to start working, though we'll just leave work at totally different times depending on the job. Since there aren't any shoots at any other locations scheduled today, my job will be to check our equipment and do some paper. It's great experience working with equipment I could never afford myself. And of course, I get to see my mentor's photos. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. Like, just can't get myself psyched up today. Because I still have a boner. <laughs> hmm, where did that girl go? I could have taken my eyes off of her for more than a second. Hmm. Hey, liar. Hmm. Hey. Wow. Oh, this is our mentor? Oh, no. <laughs> I turned around to see an odd yet familiar face. His hair stands straight out on both sides of his head like an antennae, while the top of his head is completely bald. A rockin'? Can we talk about the fact that, um... He's just a photo and Super Sonico and everyone else is just a fucking... This is ridiculous. Behind round colored glasses, his eyes shine with a sharp light that seems to pierce the true nature of whatever he sees. Yeah, it really is like a vector from uh, GTA 5. He wears a Hawaiian shirt so gaudy that 9 out of 10 people would think twice if I told him he was a Hawaiian hotel owner. The shirt covers a solid body. Why is he complimenting his mentor being like, he's got a solid rock hard body? Hi Ezra, I hope you're having a fantastic time. <laughs> Kinshiro Ara, aka Arakin. He's one of the Japanese Japan's top cameramen and my mentor. G good morning. Come on, man, you gotta grow a pair. Don't gotta be so scared every time you see my face. Sorry. <laughs> no, Vicky, I need you for something. Come to the studio later. What the fuck? <laughs> I wonder what it is. I stack my papers in order so I could go through them easily later. Then I head straight into the studio. Hey, you're here. It took you long enough. My mentor speaks his boomy voice, but I don't hear a word. I've been struck dumb by the sight before me. It's Big Titties herself! Hi, girl. <laughs> Don't worry, mind me. It's her! The headphone girl standing right there! And her manager. <laughs> Along with a man with a Hanya mask. Han... Hanya. Hana? I don't know how to pronounce that. Hanya? I, I, it's like there's two many N's and then there's a Y. Uh, huh. A little, little scream of terror in the back of my mind. I can't help but stare at the man. Yep, that's a Hanya. The master symbolizes demonic female jealousy and no fee either. But enough of that. The girl, she's here! Introduce yourself to this guy, will ya? My mentor gestures the head girl forward, though I get the impression he's doing it because he knows how nervous I am. So question, does that mean that her first name is Super and her last name Sonico? Or is she is this just her title? I'm Super Sonico. <laughs> Thanks to the encouragement Yeah, imagine having to be like, oh yeah, we've met before, girl. She bows her head empathetically after that. Yep, it's definitely the same girl. I'm Kitamura, Super Sonico's manager. A pleasure. I like his name is just manager. And this guy doesn't seem that scary after all. At least no one seems to be paying attention to his mask at all. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too. Hello, Danto. Hope you're having a fantastic time and thank you for the pop dogs. I bow my head and greet him in an attempt to shake off my doubts. I wonder if she remembers me. Uh, we met before at a concert. Do you remember me? She stares hard at my face. I was the one that pat your head because I was too tempted to grab your titties. She's really looking hard at me. Oh, the noises. This is a lot. I guess she doesn't remember me after all. Yeah, the one you took out with your massive tits. Yeah, so you do remember. Wow. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm really sorry about 
Uh huh. No, it's fine. I'm glad you weren't hurt. What, you guys know each other? I thought you were a wimp like most guys your age, but I guess you got it in you after all. Bruh. <laughs> Please don't make me sound so bad. Hello, Llama Soup. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic Wednesday so far. It sounds like he's applying on some sort of playboy. Fortunately, it looks like the girl doesn't understand what he said. Thank God you're oblivious, girl. Don't mind the old bald man. Anyway, since you know each other, this will be easy. Let me introduce you, Sonico. This guy's a liar. No, that's fucked up. I hope your day gets better. Yeah, shit, man. Hopefully, it, it stops being terrible today and it gets better tomorrow. As I always see it is, is that, you know, the next day is always just a reset. Even if shit is still gonna be happening, it's a, you're just gonna have a good long sleep. Not a coma, though. A good long sleep, hydration, and make sure everything's okay. You know? This guy's liar. It was terrible, but I'm also very bloody confused. Oof. That sounds like a rough time, indeed. It sounds like a social people thing. Where it's like, oh, something happened, and you're like, how the fuck did this happen? Because I actually generally don't know what happened. Damn. It sounds like something that was completely out of your control. It's like, people are gonna fucking blame you for it. That fucking ro uh, rolls with the punches. It's like, well, this fucking sucks. Pretty sure nothing is wrong with me. Oh, like sickness and stuff, I assume? At least I'm a soupy sickness. Because, like, that thing where it's like you feel like absolute shit, but you feel perfectly fine. Or, it's like, you look physically fine, but you don't know what it is. It disappeared pretty quick, taking a regular painkiller. Yeah. I think there are some things, when it comes to the body, where it's just gonna be a weird mystery. It's like, let me just take these drugs, and it'll just dull the effects. And hope for the best, you know? That sucks, yeah. I know for sure that I... Had a similar thing this morning, actually, where I just, I was like, I'm going to go back to bed for a little bit. And then I fucked up with my arm, <clears throat> literally laying screaming on the floor. Bro, what the hell did you do your body? Good God. Your body really said, I don't know what the fuck you did today, but you deserve some type of physical punishment. But shit, man. That's fucking wild. <laughs> Your body was just like, surprise, I'm gonna break a lot of things. I know another thing uh, that usually happens is uh, Charlie horses for a really thing. I don't know if they call it Charlie horses anywhere else in the world. But it's basically when you feel like a massive spasm of muscle in your leg and it's like super tensive and stuff. Yeah, it can't be too bad if the pain... Oh, yeah, for sure. If it definitely helped over time, then I think it was just, like, a weird, like, moment. Not not a moment of weakness. What's the word I'm thinking? A moment of just, like, your body's like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> it's very unfortunate, too. But at least you're feeling somewhat better now, right? Outside of the horrible pain for, like, three seconds. Yeah. I think it's as long as you take it easy... For the moment, I think the strain or whatever it may be will, will definitely, like, you know, hopefully not come back again. Oh, that fucking sucks. Sheesh, 15 minutes of bullshit? That fucking sucks. But at least you're doing good, right? Right. Or doing better now, at least. Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of the fucking word. Uh, otherwise, we are playing Super Sonico, which is Sonikami, which is like the sexy, uh, what do you call it? Like the romance photographer simulator, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's the correct word. I was like, this could be my rough, quote unquote, simulator. <laughs> In very big quotations for a while. Because I want to see, there's so many different endings, but I'm like, I don't know how you even get the ending. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'll just go through one playthrough and, you know, call it a, call it a, call it a stream, you know? But I don't know how long it'll take either. So, you know, fuck it. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh yeah, so we are a graduated photographer. I don't know if we're a high school age. I'm assuming we're high school age. 
with the fact that we're supposed to be romancing someone around their age because Sonic is supposed to be like 18 or so. So I'm just like, mm, I guess we graduated high school or college. One of the few things. But I'm just like, they're just like, I graduated last year. I'm like, yeah? You don't, you don't want to emphasize more on that? But fuck it. Uh, oh yeah, this bald man over here is our mentor that we work under. I know, this guy definitely looks 18. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we don't get a picture. We're just a, a faceless entity. <laughs> uh, he shows some promise, so he helps out with my work. Oh, yeah, and I did the English voice acting because I couldn't... The, the, the Japanese voice acting I tried yesterday off stream, uh, it sounded a little too childish for my liking. It made me upset. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> It starts today. He's your personal cameraman. Wow. <laughs> that's a surprise. I know, right? Huh? Really? I see. So that's why she's here. Huh. He's your personal cameraman. He? There are four people in this room. Oh, he's fucking... I'm fucking stupid. God damn it. My mentor's not talking about himself, obviously. It's definitely not her. The only possibility remaining are her manager and myself. Now the conclusion can be drawn from the point, above point is he equals me. He really did just peace out. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? I tell our mentor in a panic. What do you mean, what do I mean? Don't you think it's time you did some serious work? It's not like you've been screwed around this whole year. No, of course not. But when it comes to taking pictures of people, I... Stop. That's what I'm talking about. My mentor points a finger straight at me. Your technique is already pretty good. You could have given any average photographer a run for his money when it comes to landscapes. But, if you want to be my assistant, you're going to have to learn how to shoot the ladies. Arakin, no. Please, no. And you're going to have to make the beautiful, romantic, charming. Ugh, gross. Kai hurts to hear that. The name Arakin is basically synonymous with beautiful, sexy, gravure. Uh, gravure shots. I guess it's pretty bad if his assistant can't do gravure. He looks like a photographer. Oh, God, he does. So, consider this part of your training. This is what they call tough love, man. Throwing my lion cub into the valley. Is he making a, a Lion King reference? Is this an actual saying? <laughs> but this is so sudden. And is it a disservice to her and her manager? I can't help but shoot them a glance. Ah, does what? You know I don't do things halfway, yeah? Right, man. Right, Mr. Manager? I'll make sure your darling girl is taken care of properly. I know, not the shiny bald head. <laughs> it's true that this guy has no experience with gravature, but if you trust the Arkin name, you'll leave this to me, right? Since you put it that way, I have no objections. After all, we're the ones asking for your help. It's also, um, fine with me. Yeah, of course. But, and, I was watching, you know. I saw you oogling poor little Sonico outside of my office. Oh, so he knows I'm a freak. Let's fucking go. He knows. Sorry. <laughs> he just knows I fucked up. <laughs> my mentor looks at me with an expression that embodies the very concept of perverted old man. You were watching? Wait, no. Stop trying to make me look bad. I was just thinking about what kind of model she'd make, and I would never think of such things. Ah, I could feel Hanya's eyes burning a hole through my soul. Our kid's wrong, I tell you. The question is, why, why is that girl anime and no one else? I think it's because most of the game is us photographing her in different lighting. So they're just like, here's one model. Everyone else gets to be a picture. <laughs> Which is very bizarre. In a pic, I turn to my mentor, whose expression has grown serious. I'm not just saying this on a whim. You know, I'm not that kind of guy, right? I feel cold sweat in my back. This is your time to shine. If you can't handle it, then you'll have to rethink your life a little. And also, if I recall, I think if I saw when I first heard about this game before I purchased it like years ago, uh, I think this originally came out in like 2010, 2011. So I don't know if it was a budgetary thing or they're just like, we're just going to focus on one thing and everything else can just be printed pictures. That's all there is to it. It's simple, really. And it's interesting because apparently this game was in Japanese only for a really, really long time. How would you feel if you were a lifeless two-day picture in a video game? Technically, I'm always lifeless, but I get what you mean. <laughs> His stern look pulls me back to reality. He's absolutely right. 
I clench my fist tightly. I can feel how sweaty my palms are. I can't keep putting this off. I understand. Please, let me do it. Right, I have to do it. I'll throw everything I've learned this year into it. Suddenly, I feel tense. Everyone is silent. It's a pleasure to be working with you. I bow my head to the two of them, hardening my resolve, and raise my head. I've got to do it. Only then could I say with pride that I'm a student of the great Arakin. Why is she making those noises? Why, girl? You're killing me. <laughs> What's this now? What's going on? She's growing and making faces again, just like when she was outside the office. Huh? Just as I thought, that ca thought crosses my mind. She suddenly grabs my hand and pulls it towards her chest. Her expression is severe. Are you telling me she went straight into modeling instead of getting like a proper job? Her face, bearing a serious expression, gets even closer. Man, she smells good. Wait, this is no time for that shit. <laughs> Right. I think you and I are the same, Mr. Cameraman. Don't call me Mr. Cameraman. Mr. Cameraman was my father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, here goes nothing. But oh, I hope they give me a tutorial because I don't know what any of the button commands are. Damn, I hope so. Sonico blows her head. Crap, I think my eyes might start watering. You don't need to be so formal. I was so flustered, I brushed her off. Oh, come on, me. But uh, I guess it's good to be so enthusiastic. She suddenly raises her fist over her head in a triumphant pose. Everyone stares at her in shock. Girl, you're fine. G go team! <laughs> yeah, I've got to share in her enthusiasm. Go team! Oh yeah, we're just babies. Go team! We can do anything if we put our minds to it, right? Sure. Why is this only a question? As thus, I embark on the journey that will determine my future together with the mysterious headphone girl, Super Sonico. This is still the prologue? Good God! What lies in store for me? Whatever the case, I've got to do it. Oh. Oh, 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 my eyes. I got a seizure. Jesus Christ. This is cute, though. Oh, 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 the shots! <laughs> the shots are so... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. We get to meet more characters? Oh, boy. I love their cutouts. Girl looks like she's not wearing shoes with how white she is. I will say this makes me really want to watch the the Sonny and Amy because uh, they did a Sonico. I think they did like a one anime season or two. I forget, but I don't know if this is similar or different. But she also gives off a vibe with the fact that she's always like, "Here's my headphones." I'm also very sad that they don't um, add subtitles. Like, girl, I want to know what she's saying, please. I hope they don't play this uh, every single time there's a new chapter. Because otherwise, it's going to be like a fucking episodic, goddamn. So that's that. It's still the prologue, goddamn. Let me introduce you two again. This is Super Son Echo. She's a college student. Okay, so now she's a college student. So now she's 18. Yeah. Uh, well, I just started school this spring. Okay, that makes me feel less uncomfortable. She's nice and fresh. I hate that, Arakin. <laughs> oh, you mean like a fish, huh? Yeah. 
Sure. Right? Hmm, she sure is a mysterious one. Can you try not to sound like such an old fart? Well, I am an old fart, aren't I? Ha ha ha! Anyway, Super Sonica's doing some modeling on the side, and she's brand spanking new to the whole business. And I've known the president of Sonico's agency for a long time. He doesn't usually ask for favors like this, but he really wants to help Sonico get started as a uh, gravure model. So that's what brings her here today. And I know this is a bit sudden, but you're free after this, right? I was planning to sort the outtakes from our last shoot. My enter's mouth curls into an evil smile. Damn, his shiny ass head. Scary things happen when he smiles like that. You can do that later. What about you, Sonico? You free after this? I like how they swapped the words, but I know what they meant. How's your skin today? How's my skin? Oh. I hate it, how that was worded. Wow. I slept really well last night, and I'm feeling super good today. Excellent, excellent. What the fuck does that mean? Alright, liar. If you really think you're not cut out for this, then I'll give you a test. A test? This is all too sudden. That's right. Sonica will be the model, of course. She's completely silent. I feel like I can see a giant question mark over her head. I bet she's making a really stupid face right now. Oh, I'm making a stupid face. Our eyes meet. I turn away quickly, overcome with shyness. Take some shots for Sonico's portfolio. You can choose her outfit from a private collection. How private are we talking? <laughs> you already know your way around the studio. I'm not going to give you a theme or anything. Just take whatever pictures you think suit Sonico. All right. Well, I'll be in my office. Give me a call when you're done. With that, he disappears into his office. Well, we're just hanging out. With my noisy mentor gone, the room descends into silence. Well, ugh, this sucks. Come on, man, pull yourself together. Oh, uh, well, I know it's a bit sudden, but let's get to work. I bow my head to Sonico and her manager. Ah, uh, thank God. Oh, hey, Pecan. Well, let me give you a scratch. Did you barf anymore, or are you okay? We're counting on you. I know it's done, but I mean to have her promo shots redone. I appreciate a good set. Oh, he's a nice fellow after all. That's a relief. If you can't deliver, I hear the bottom of Tokyo Bay is nice this time of year. <laughs> I've said too much. <laughs> oh, he's a freak. <laughs> I take it back. He's freaking me out. The mask suits him perfectly. Well, whatever. Oh, darn. I completely forgot. Pecan, get, get out of here. I'm sorry, but I need to speak to Mr. Arakin about a different matter. Go ahead and get ready, Sonico. I'll be right back. Wait, what? Damn. Well. Huh? She smiles. Uh-huh. I attempt to smile, too. Uh, I'll go get your outfit. I spin myself around. Uh. I walk off at a brisk pace. If you want to laugh at me for being pathetic, go ahead. It's awkward being alone with her. I dash into the room where the costumes are kept. All right, let's see what we could put together. Well, then, I made my strategic retreat. But now I'm here, I really can't make up my mind. Should I go with something safe, or should I pick something challenging? That girl's got charm. She's really cute, and what a figure. Oh, I'm a freak again, goddamn. I can't really express it well, but I feel like she's got potential. I haven't even had a proper conversation with her yet, but that's what I think. But what can I do to make her really shine? Hmm. Excellent question. A model's outfit is really, really important. The outfit she wears for the shoot like this could actually impact her position in life, you know? You're right. Especially since these are promo shots. This is a big responsibility. When choosing your outfit, you have to consider not only what her clients want, but also what kind of model you want her to become. And you can't forget your own pride either. In a way, she puts your her life in your hands. That means the best... Fuck stops with you, so you gotta trust your instincts. Keep that in mind and choose responsibility. Can we talk to the mysterious figure here? Yeah, you're right. I got to believe in myself. Yeah, that's the spirit. Well, since there's no special instructions this time, you'll probably be fine as long as you get her position right. Her position? Right, if you want to guide her in a direction, make sure you pay attention to her position when you choose her outfit. That's where the outfit you choose will really come into play. Position is important. Remember that, if nothing else. Got it? However, this may sound like a contradiction. Make sure you listen to your model too, okay? It's important not to get a big head. I see. 
So did you ask her sizes, Mr. Cameraman? Oh, I did not. <laughs> There's a few things you should discuss with her before the shoot. Now go back to her and do your best. Is this like our self-conscious? <laughs> Thank you so much. By the way, it's a little late to ask now, but who's been giving me all this advice? I turned towards the direction the voice was coming from. Did we really think we were talking to ourselves? Huh? There's no one there. I look around, but there's no one in sight. All right. There should be anyone in the office but me, my mentor, that girl, and the manager. That's weird. It's a ghost. Anyways, I'm going to go back. I won't think about it. Nope. I head back to the studio doing my best not to look behind me. Uh, Kitamura's not back yet. Damn, it's making me nervous talking to her face to face like this. Ugh, the hell with it. Uh, so what should I call you? Girl, that ain't helping me. I have so many things I could call you. And none of them are appropriate for stream. Wait. But come on. Come on. Onto the ground. <laughs> then, um... Uh, other people call me... <laughs> <laughs> Not Tits McGee! Jesus. Oh. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Crap. I got so wrapped up my thoughts I stopped talking. Sonico's looking at me worried. Can I call you Sonico? Oh, okay, so definitely it's like a... A time thing. That's funny. Yes. That's funny. So, Sonico. Y yes. What is it? Uh. Sorry about earlier. I just got really nervous. I'm hopeless. But I will. Oh, is Sonico nervous too? Her expression is pretty stiff. Maybe she's nervous about the shoot. Okay. Are you nervous? No, I I'm fine. Uh huh. What about your hair and makeup? Do you usually do them yourself? Oh, uh, a perfect woman. I see. Do you have your makeup on now? Damn. Wow. It's true. Her skin does look really good. Damn. My selling point. Huh? Uh, my, uh, huh? Stare. Stare. <laughs> Sorry. She's really shy for someone who wants to be a graveur. Model. At least I didn't stare her tits. She would have been really upset about that. <laughs> I gotta make sure she's comfortable. Yeah, I think we can shoot like this. But do you want to check your makeup again just to be sure? Do you have it with you? Yes. Then I'll choose your outfit while you do that. I thought you did that earlier. Oh, uh, sorry. I was so flustered I forgot to ask you something important. Uh, what are your sizes? You look a little shorter than 160 centimeters. About 158? Yeah. Okay. It makes it's making me blush as she's so impressed, which makes asking this next question all the more difficult. Uh so then, um what do I do? Is there something I could ask even if she is a model? No, if I don't ask, I can't do my job. It's for my job. That's all to it is. What are your measurements? Crap, my voice cracked. I need to know for the outfits, you know. Thank you. Girl's dying. She's like, please let me down. Her face gets further and further as she tells me, and she ends up staring at the floor. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Crap, she's really embarrassed, and so am I. But those are so impressive. I mean, no, wait, this is all misunderstanding. <laughs> I'm a freak, don't worry. And then, as I make excuses to no one in particular, I realize the person I should make excuses to is standing right behind Sonico. Kitamura has returned, though when I have no idea, is giving me the painful stare again. I should have just asked Kitamura from the beginning. But I think it's Dorf's fault for being gone until now. Yeah. Totally. Oh, I should have just asked Mr. Kur Kitamura. Ahaha. Sorry, Sonico. Oh, no, it's fine. 
I'm so spineless. Oh no, it's perfectly fine. I should have been the one to tell you. I'm so sorry for not realizing. I was about to start swinging, and then you just ended up like that writer who joked about, Oh, I should air my dirty laundry. Sorry about that. Please go help wor your work. What? What happened to the writer? <laughs> we are going to swing! Somehow, I managed to maintain my composer, burn out, prod the hornet's nest. Alright, can I take one picture first to help me choose your outfit? Alright. Uh, this won't go in the portfolio, so don't, just relax. Girl is not relaxed. I feel like a parent taking a picture of his kid. Well, I can see your figure in this, so that's fine. But we should be okay while we're doing the real thing. Well, just gotta do my best. Okay, I'll go choose your outfit now. Meet you back here in a few minutes. You can use the mirror in the back room there to touch up your makeup. This time, I'll do my job properly. A miracle. This is my first trial. Here I go. Oh boy, I unlocked the leather bracelet? A simple design, easy to wear with whatever. Comes with several designs. A uh, replica on the actual army issue jumper. The material is different, but looks pretty real. And a regular t-shirt, its effect changes a lot depending on the style and print. Okay. And a girlish skirt whose pleats are in its features, casual and easy to wear. Plain designs are good for uniforms. Other designs can be worn with many different things. And loafers, a part of many school uniforms. High school is a time to polish your girl's appearance. And bikinis. A bandu bikini with straps. It will withstand a certain amount of rigorous exercise. Oh, God. A string bikini. Cute, but risky, too. Take your best shot. Oh, boy. Your mentor, our kid, has made you Super Sonico's personal Caroline. Will you be able to bring Sonico's beauty to life? Yeah, let's save it. We'll just... Stay right here, I guess. Pre-shoot. Fuck it. Alright, now what? Click here to select the location for the shoot. Best results choose the location that meets your client's needs. Keep in mind, however, that the client is always right. You can ignore your orders instead and develop your own image for Sonico. Things could have unexpected results. Okay. Click here to select the shoot. The best results choose the style of colors that meet your client's needs. Click check. Position to see Sonico's current status as model review the client's request. This information guideline when choose the location of outfits. Click start shoot to begin to shoot. During the shoot, air points by shooting the rings before they disappear. The bigger your combo, the best your score. The best time to shoot is when the ring turns pink. God, okay. Other factors can affect your score, such as color coordination, how revealing the outfit is. Choose widely according to the needs of your client and your vision for Sonico's feature. Some photo shoots may have perfect. Multiple takes, you must choose location costumes before you shoot, but be careful if you use the same costume more at once, it'll hurt your final score. As the game progresses, you will complete more shoots and you will unlock more costumes. There are many costume pieces available. Try to collect them all. Try move over to adjust Sonic's model. What? Okay, let's start the suit first. Okay. Location. Outfit. Uh, bikini type. Oh. How do I... Oh, I have to... Oh, okay. <laughs> bikini type A. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm blind! <laughs> no, I guess we'll do the bikini first. None. Shoes off. God, feet. None. Leather bracelet. That's fine. I like how you have different hairstyles, too. That's fucking cool. Skin. Favorites. What? Okay. Um. Okay, how do I... Oh, okay. Preview. Fuck it. Um. I think it says move over to adjust Sonico's 3D model. Oh, zoom, rotate, move. Okay. Oh, I see what they mean, like that. And move. Oh, I see. They just mean like that. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, 
check position, energetic, mainstream, niche, mellow. Request. Oh, they just mean like in general. Okay, return. All right, start shoot. This is gonna make me nervous. I'm like, what if I do fuck it up? <laughs> start tutorial, oh thank God. Playtime's over. It's been a year since you started working here. Time to show me what you've got. Basics and movement. Okay. All right. First, let's get you slinging that camera like a pro. In the viewfinder at Sonico. To move and... Oh, okay. So I could, like, go around here, basically. Okay. Targets and combos. Good. Now it's time to shoot. She's kind of near the capture charm. Okay. Use the mouse to aim at each ring and click to shoot. The more rings you photograph within the time limit, the higher you score. Timing matters. Right after it turns pink. Bad, poor, good, perfect. Timing isn't enough to get perfect score. The ring must also be aligned with Sonico. If you can't see Sonic goes through the ring, the best you get is great. Good, great, or perfect will increase your combo count one by one. The higher your count, the faster your score grows. Gay, a bad, or poor will break the combo. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay, got it. So it's definitely a lot of moving. To take good photos, the most important thing is heart, but don't forget technique matters too. Okay. Weird. Okay. Let me try that one again. Because they're basically like... Uh, why won't let me lock onto her face? Okay. It's gonna be a rough one. Oh, God. If you want to be a photographer, you gotta learn to communicate with your mouth. Time to show some backbone. Okay. Talk command will increase. This will unlock bold new poses, increasing score. Three levels. Gain bad support to reduce enthusiasm as well giving Sonko a break. Enthusiasm game runs out the lower her that enthusiasm. Measures of stamina. It also increases over time. Depletes it faster. Gauge reaches zero. Show a collapse from exhaustion. Aim to shoot prematurely and roll, lowering your score. Okay. Automatically as a photographer. Let's full right click to open the communication window. Okay. You can talk to Sonico, change your pose, or call break. Talking to her will also cause her to level up too. If you stay on one pose for too long, you gain enthusiasm more slowly. 
to prevent this, use the communication change pose occasionally. You choose one of three poses, standing, sitting, or lying down. Restore her energy but lose her enthusiasm. Breaks will all automatically when Sonko's edge is full. You can also end the break by clicking enough. Okay. Here's my perfect change poses. Talk to her. Keep an eye on her level. Call for a break. This gains enthusiasm. Got it. Oh. Right click to open the communication meal, then highlight sit with the mouse wheel. Oh. Okay. That is weird that they don't mention you have to use the wheel. I'm like, okay. The panic is real. <laughs> the rest of the panic explains to read this, and you better be grateful for the saint who put it together. Ah. Press enter to use an all point shot. Okay. This will score perfect on every ring on the screen. Okay. You have a limited number of APS in each shot, so same when you're overwhelmed by targets. Okay. From time to time, very small creatures may appear during a shoot. Full graph these for bonus points. You get enough of them and you get special rewards. Okay. After your shot, you get your score. Off it measures how well her meets the client's needs. These scores stay together to determine the rank. Six possible ranks from D to SS. A stream low rank may cause you to fall from the photographer's path leading to a bad end. High rank will earn you special rewards. Either you can leave the mission, including an outfit that goes too much against the client's wishes may have unexpected results. Maintaining combos is key to high score, but bad and poor will break. Uh, targets stop appearing and current targets are not scored, new they disappear. If you're danger of missing combos, targets open communication, maintain your combo. Time still counts down while your menu is open. Be careful. Okay. Alright. Let's try this, I guess. Oh, God. Maybe I should have done beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of normal. Oh well. This is so wild. What is this game? Oh, 
I like how they're like, here's one minute left. It's like, all right. Oh man. I tried really hard that time. I got A, that's not bad. Okay, I'll take it. That should do it. <laughs> I feel something during the shoot. Something that surprised me. I felt my camera and capturing more than just images. I felt capturing the energy and the emotion of my subject. Yeah? Good work, Sonico. Yeah, thank you very much. Go ahead and get changed. You can relax now. I'm gonna put go print the, out these photos. What is that was a strange shoot. I never felt this way when photographing people before. And how'd I do, sir? And not bad for someone who sucks at shooting people. You did all right. Does that mean he's being roundabout? But I think I know what he's trying to say. Kitamura, Sonico, what do you think of these photos? They're wonderful. Oh, Sonico, you're so cute. Yeah. Um, I think they're super great. Thank God. A brilliant smile. Yeah, that's where it. I'll be working my butt off from now on in order to see that smile. Relief overwhelms me. I sink to the floor. Are you okay? Get together, then. You'll never make it in the big time like that. Sorry. I hear someone chuckling. I look forward to working with you from now on. Thank God. And that's how our story begins, with the first small step towards an unknown future. Well, that was fun. I like that. Oh. What? Who's using my outline? Caller ID says... Oh. Hey, it's been a while. What's up? It's been forever, Gramps. Don't call me Gramps. How have you been, Gramps? Don't call me Gramps. Call me Sir. No way, you're definitely a Gramps. I can't call you daddy. That'd be dirty. Well, I can't deny that. Man, you're as annoying as ever. So, what's this about anyway? Well, I actually stopped by your office today. What? Why didn't you say something? Ah, too loud! My ear! Something fun was going on, so I didn't want to spoil the surprise. What's her name again? Sonico? That girl's lovely. She's like a diamond in the rough. And that kid of yours seems to have potential. But he's still got a ways to go yet. You don't want to ruin that diamond with a bad cut, right? So I'll be stopping by every once in a while to see how things are going. Laters! Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait! Yeah, I told you, not so loud, jeez! This is done deal, okay? Hmm. Oh, but keep it a secret from those two. I'll get mad if you tell them. Even if you, even you won't get off the hook, Gramps. I don't even know what i do. Anyways, see ya! Wait, you selfish little... Hey! Damn, when you have goblins for children or grandchildren. Save your game. Yes. I would say that was still pretty good. I'm a rookie idol. Let's go. It's been an hour. Good God. <laughs> okay. Man, I hope I get a new apartment. I don't want Sonica to see my shitty house. Mm. I wake up from a dreamless sleep. I slept pretty well last night. But I don't feel super alert. It's like my brain's not fully awake yet. <sighs> Excuse me. I zone out. Wait! I finally stopped my annoying alarm clock. I'm tired in a really weird way. I probably went out from everything that happened yesterday. It's pretty normal for our mentor to be crazy. But yesterday was crazier than usual. I tied out of bed, think about that wild day. Looking around the room like usual, my eyes stop on the cork board. There's an unfamiliar picture there. I find myself drawn to it. I like how you start putting Sonico's pictures up, like, bruh. Upon realizing what it is, I snap fully awake. 
That's right, I became Sonica's personal cameraman. However, it doesn't feel really just yet. If someone told me it was just a nasty prank my member mentor was playing on me, I'd be inclined to believe them. When he puts his mind to it, his pranks are second to none. But the picture in front of me has such presence that it blows away all my doubts. Aren't photographs great? Okay. I give my ass cheeks a nice laugh to focus my mind. <laughs> Here I go! <laughs> it's so funny. Not that there's anything to do. I sit down in my chair in the office and start sorting through the documents I put aside the other day. It's been a few days since the shoot. Sanko's just a novice. It's not like she has work every day. So my life hasn't really changed all that much. However, I'm wildly passionate right now. What am I supposed to do with all this enthusiasm? Oh, great God of photography. I left my arms in fervent prayer. Of course, you could always just call it stretching. Yeah. I roll my shoulders and neck, making strange noises. Mm, my boat's cracked when I did that. Ah, I'm loosening up as I squint my eyes in pleasure. Uh, what's squinting my eyes in pleasure? <laughs> they happened upon a certain gravure magazine. Guess I'll take a break and check it out. It might be a good reference for future work. Without leaving my chair, I extend my arms and retrieve the magazine with the finesse of a synchronized swimmer. Ooh, it's the last issue. Nice. Let's see. Sexy, very beautiful woman of the night. New announcer in her Sunday best. Okay. Underground idol shine bright. We dive deep into the hottest scene. All American ringers killing the competition. Who's next? The bus that shook the nation. Japan. Romeo Iguchi's soul searing shots. My eyes stop on the final headline. Romeo Iguchi. Suddenly my heart is raging. I check the index and flip to the article. Very nice. The subject is a weather lady who recently made a name for herself as a model. She's the proud owner of some splendid rocket boobs, which have earned her name Squid Cup. Uh, the, the what? <laughs> With a black bikini con, they really do look like squids covered in ink. What? What the fuck? <laughs> the concept is good. The photographer obviously has good technique too. According to his credit, this photographer is only a little older than me. Hmm. Am I really cut out for this job? I find myself staring off into the distance. I love my thousand yard stare. <sighs> One of the pictures my mentor approved is stuck to the opposite wall. Sonico, huh? I wonder what kind of job she'll get. And I wonder how I'll handle them too. What kind of image do I want to give her anyways? What kind of situation would suit her best? Bold and sexy, pure and innocent, or cute and ditzy? I think bold and sexy. Because cute and ditzy is only so far. It might be good to give her a bold direction. Now put this on. Good God. I hate this. <laughs> That's a little out there. Man, I think I'm going to go crazy. But I don't think that was bad, actually. Maybe I should propose it to Sonico next time I see her. What's up? You got a preferred look on your face. Mm, well, I was just thinking about what that kind of pictures I want to take a Sonico. Oh, so you were thinking about something pretty important, huh? Sorry for saying you looked perverted. No, it's fine. I was kind of having some perverted delusions. Where are you? I should have apologized then. Hmm. But I suppose that's healthy for a cameraman. Having delusions is part of the job. Good work. Ha, huh. you sure about that? It's fine. Perfectly fine. In a way, Amal's relationship with her cameraman is deeper than her bond with her parents. After all, you'll be partners for a long time, basically betting your livelihoods on each other. The cameraman has to use his aesthetic sense, empathy, and communication skills to move the heart of his partner. And that could charge, change the life of his partner, too. It also goes the other way. I'm sure you'll be influenced by your partner, too. It's important to be relaxed when you're planning, but you should always be thinking of the future. Always focus on the future and hers. Got it? Mm, I see. Okay, now here's some free advice. So listen up. If you want to mold her to suit your taste, that's fine. But you gotta pay attention to the client's request too, you know? You can't just focus on taking good pictures. You need to consider what the client wants in order to get the good rating. But I wasn't thinking about that at all last time. And I should take some good pictures. That's because that's what the client wanted. It won't be easy during a real job, okay? 
If you're having trouble figuring out what the client wants, just pay attention to Sonico and decide that way. Hmm. Sonico. If you get a good enough rating, they might even let you go home with the costumes. It won't be too late to mold her in your image then. Anyway, do whatever you want. What's that supposed to mean? That's why I finally realized. Wait, this is the person the other day who gave me advice the other day. That advice really helped me out. I quickly turned around. Huh? Once again, there's nobody there. How? Ugh, a ghost. I can feel the blood drain from my face. The office might really be haunted. I hear ghosts and things are drawn to electronics. Should we call an exorcist just then? The phone's ringing. Is it my mentor? Oh, it's Kitamura. Hello? Oh, boy. The next day. Uh, I turn up here, right? I'm walking down an unfamiliar street in nice warm weather. I glance at the map in my hand. Yeah, I'm heading in the right direction. I still got plenty of time, but I might as well step it up. I increase my pace to a light jog, and... Whoa! Damn. I'm sorry. Sonico? I just ran into Sonico, quite literally. Wait, what do I do? Whoa! I quickly reach out and grab her bag. Ah, crap. I save her bag, but Sonico herself topples to the ground. Sorry, are you okay? Oh, Mr. Cameraman. Good morning. What's up, girl? Morning. Wait, this is no time for greetings. I hurry up and put Sanko's bag on my shoulder, then offer her my hand. Oh, thank you very much. It's nothing. Are you a hurt? Okay, girl, what's happening to your boobs there? Okay, that's good to hear. I'm really sorry. No, don't be. Um, I'm sorry. I wasn't looking where I was going. No, no, I'm the one who should apologize. I guess we're both sorry, huh? Sure, let's, uh, let's call it that. I guess so. Let's leave that at that, then. Oh, I know. Maybe we can call it even for what happened at the concert. She smiles embarrassed. Damn, she really is picturesque. Well, she is a model, after all. And just like that, I'm in the mood to work. Yeah, it can't be mere coincidence that we ran into each other here. Today I was called to her agency. It's my first time meeting since becoming her photographer. I wonder if we got some work coming up. Huh, if you say so. That's right, I got to return her bag. Hey, this is... Here you go. Uh, thank you very much. That's our whole thing, guitars. This is a guitar case, right? It's an electric guitar. Wow. Do you play? Yeah. We talk while walking side by side. God, she's so fucking cute. I love her. I see. Then were you at that concert because you knew the band or something? Oh, no, no. I'm not a groupie or anything. I just like to go to that club a lot. It's super fun. I see. Do you like music or modeling more? What do you like better, music or modeling? I see. Oh, we're here. So this is it. It's not exactly new, but the building does have a sense of freshness to it. It's on the fifth floor. All right. Oh. It's. Oh, if it isn't Sonico. Oh, it, it's a, it's a panda. Uh, uh, okay. What? There's a panda here. A freaking panda! What do you mean, what? Don't look at me like I'm some sort of endangered species. You got something against pandas? You racist. Whoa. <laughs> what? Is panda a race? Um, Sonico, who, um... Thanks for all your help, Mr. Pandagala. Okay. You look great as usual. Oh, this panda's a creep, too. He's staring straight at her chest. I feel dirty just look at the smile on his face. Where the hell are you looking, you panda? You're a panda! <laughs> What's going on here? Get great jiggling, great gravity! But anyway, Kitanama is waiting for you in the office. Right. What the fuck? Um, Mr. Pandagawa is a manager. Why is he a panda? I see. He's strict, but he's a really good person. I don't 
think so. <laughs> Sonic explains as I stare at her in bewilderment. That's not it, Sonic. That's not what's freaking me out. Well, whatever. I'll just forget about the panda. Sure, whatever. We check at the reception desk on the fifth floor and enter the office. So we're basically surrounded by a bunch of lewd people, a freaky manager, and we have to be the kind soft boy. And there, waiting for us, is Kitamura. Damn. Come in, come in. Sorry to bother you. Good morning. Good morning, Sonica. You seem to be in good spirits again today. And good morning, liar. Thank you for coming all this way. It's no trouble at all. Well, go ahead and sit. Mr. Pendagawa is out, I see. Give me a minute. I'll make some tea. Girl, you're gonna burn yourself, aren't you? You just got here, Sonico. Go ahead and relax. Kitamura goes to get the tea. It's a nice alpha, huh? Yeah, everyone here is really nice. I see. A brilliant smile. Hmm. Well, whatever. I won't pry. I'm back. Sorry to keep you waiting. He definitely press presents me a cup of hot tea. Well, getting right down to it. Thank you for the promo shoot the other day. Oh, you don't have to thank me. I should be apologizing for my mentor's crazy ideas. Ha! That's part of the Mr. Arakin's charm, I suppose. So, these photos you took are very popular. It looks like we'll be getting some work because of them. <gasps> yeah! Really? Wow, I'm so happy! Thank God. Huh? You're just hearing about this, too? Yes, I didn't know either. It's a pretty good job. Sonico and I listened to the simple explanation of the job. That sounds great. This is the day of the shoot. Are you free? He points at the calendar on his desk. Yeah, no problem. Well, we'll be counting on you then. Here's the schedule. Cool. I wonder how long this game is. I should probably look at uh, how long to be online. Let's see. That about covers it. Okay, I understand. Understood. This is really exciting. She's hella cute. Yeah, me too. It's my first official job. I'll give it my all. Well, this is a good opportunity, so t I'll take you home. Oh, excuse me a minute. Hello? Yes? Yes? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'll get it ready right away. Yes, goodbye. Phew, that's a bit of a problem. What's wrong? I have some urgent business to attend to. Oh? But I need to take Sonica home. This is a problem. You're telling me that you tell me that this girl can't just walk herself home? I can go home on my own. I'll be fine. I just never understood that. <laughs> no, you can't. If anything were to happen to you, I think I'd lose it. Yikes. But, Mr. Manager, you're super busy, aren't you? <sighs> Liar. Yeah? I hate to oppose, but do you think you could escort Sonica home? Huh, I don't mind, but What did she do to herself? Apparently, Sonica was so taken back that she spoke too fast and bit her tongue. Where do you live? Let's see. From here, it's just past Inokashira, Inokashira Park. Since Sonica can't talk that well right now, Kitamura takes over and explains. Yeah, that's on the way to my place, so it's fine. Sure, I'll take her home. It looks like we're going the same way anyways. Thank you. However, no funny business, understand? Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> You're one scary guy, Mr. Kitamura. I have no touch of trying anything in the first place. I mean, really? Well, let's get you home then. Sure. I see this is so silly. I take the lead and head towards the entrance. I feel like I'm being a bit pushy, but Sonico will probably get nervous if I'm not. Not to mention, I do think it's a bit dangerous to let a model walk around by herself at night. Wait, Tagwa, it's still bright outside! Okay, now it's dark. I like her little mittens. Ugh, this is kind of awkward. Maybe I was too pushy when we were leaving the office, but now Sonico's looking at the ground. Crap, I wouldn't have made her nervous anyway. 
I gotta find something to talk about. Um, huh? What is it, Sonico? I'm sorry you have to walk me home like this. Uh, don't worry, girl. How do I say this? Nothing's happened so far, so I thought I'd be okay, but... I'll protect you. It's fine. I'll protect you. My heart kind of hurts. I wonder why. I feel like she kind of ignored me there. Nah, it must be my imagination. Really, nothing has ever happened, so... Well, just in case, you know? Just in case. Just in case. Oh. And how should I say this? I want to talk to you a little more. Talk to me? Yeah, I mean, our next job will be the first for the both of us, right? Before that, I was thinking it'd be nice to talk to you a little more. Wait, what am I saying? I feel like it's really embarrassing. Whatever it is. I see. Actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk a little more too. I don't know why her la eyes, like her eyelashes, look very weird in this lighting. Um, I'm so excited, I guess. And her little mids. Oh, really? Huh, I guess so. So, you live in this area too? Yeah, I do. My place is over there, though. I point in the direction of where I live. Uh, then we really are going in the same direction. Yep, you didn't think I was lying, did you? M maybe a little. I won't go that far. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a little bit more relieved. Okay. Come to think of it, it's gotten kind of late. Won't your parents be worried? I'm an orphan! <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> my parents' place is nearby, though. I thought it would help me become an adult, so I made up my mind and moved out. I see. I'm still not used to it, though, so it's kind of hard. It is pretty hard when you start living on your own. Yeah, I'm not really a morning person. So that's my biggest problem. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah? Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, a monster. A bed that warm and cozy is a terrible thing. Oh, one of these days I'm gonna get eaten, and I'll be like, hiya! Ah ha 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 ha. I know, that's the most dry laugh in the world. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't laugh. <laughs> it's hard, you know. That bed is a beautiful, terrible place. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The way you said it was so cute. Yeah, like your bed is a literal monster. <laughs> but it's true. Isn't it the same for you, Mr. Cameraman? I won't go that far. But can you resist its cuddly, fluffy power? Uh, depends for my bed settings, but sure. Well, yeah. Really? Oh, I'm gonna have to look up some new bed fighting techniques. Don't worry, girl. You got this. I realize that we've come to the exit of the park. Oh, my house is really close by, so this is far enough. She's like, please don't stalk me. Really? I don't mind taking you the rest of the way. No, really, it's really close. See? It's right over there. The apartment building she indicates is indeed close. Oh, okay. Well, this is where I turn to get home, so I guess this works out. Thank you for today. Sonico bows her head. <sighs> I'm glad I got to chat with you, Mr. Cameraman. Me too. Yeah, I'm glad I talked to t got to talk with you too. Well, I'll see you at the shoot. Yeah, take care of yourself, Mr. Cameraman. I won't be more than Mr. Cameraman, please. Please, just once. I watched Sonico walk away and start heading home. What well, is this warm feeling in my chest? I got to walk home with Sonico. She really is a cutie. I feel a smile forming on my face. Oh, that's my phone. It's Kitamura. Hello? Did you make sure Sonico got home safely? Yeah, I took her just far enough that I could see your house. I see. I caused you some more, some trouble today, didn't I? Oh no, it was on my way. 
Kitamaru is a pretty conscientious person to go out of his way to call and thank me. I trust you didn't do anything funny. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> May I interpret your lack of response as, No, I didn't do anything, really. It may have been through the phone, but I could definitely send something nasty on the other end. <laughs> God, he's so scary. I see. Good. Yeah? Yeah, it's good indeed. Well then, I'm looking forward to the shoot. Right. So much for that feeling of exhilaration I had only moments ago. Now I just feel a cold sweat on my back. Yeah, I should be careful. In more that ways than one. This is so wild. Before I know it, it's the day of the shoot. Phew. I put my things out at the meeting place. I always carry my mentor's bag, so I should be used to it. But the weight feels strange today for some reason. Am I nervous? Probably. Hmm. What's up, girl? Kitamura and Sonico show up suddenly while I'm spacing out. Oh, good morning. I'm looking forward to the shoot. Yes, I think we all are. Well, let's go. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Oh. oh, the faces. Hello, we're counting on you today. It's a pleasure to be working with you. It's a pleasure. I'm honored we were able to get someone so pretty for the job. Thank you. Uh, um, I'll do my very best. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Well, this is a bit sudden, but... Could you strip? Huh? That's odd. It was supposed to be a nude shoot, right? Uh... Huh? What? Wait a second. That can't be right. Even Katamura has lost his composure. My heart is pounding too. But I heard nothing about this. Um, well, would you like to verify things then? Please! Well, if you say so. The two of them move to another room. I glance at Sonico. She's looking nervous too. Well, of course she is. I don't think anyone expected this. Hmm. Nude. There must be some mistake. I hope. Oh, Kitamura and the client are back. Looks like they've come to an agreement. I'm so terribly sorry. It was my mistake. My mistake. Gra ha ha ha. Oh, so it was a mistake. I'm so relieved. I can't even be mad. Oh, thank goodness. Really? Pull yourself together. I came this close to using it, you know. Ha ha ha. Yikes. Kitamura's laughing, but his eyes are dead serious. I mean, he's still wearing that mask, but I could tell. Yeah. But what exactly was he going to use? What is he walking around with? I should apologize to you too, miss. Please forgive me. Oh, of course. I'm fine now that I know it was a mistake. Yeah, about that. The man puts his hands together and bows his head. That's an odd charm and a gesture that just makes you want to forgive him. Now that we have much of a choice. Huh? I was really nervous before, but now I'm totally relaxed. Guess this is a lucky break. I got so panicked out my nerves disappeared. Hey, Sonico. Yeah? Oh, Sonico looks pretty relaxed, too. Mm, you don't look as nervous anymore. You look good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think I can give it my all today, too. Man, I hope so. Super Sonico's at full power. Mm, excellent. Well, let's get ready for the shoot. Okay. New costume piece unlocked. Regular t-shirt. Sneakers, jacket, oh, that's just stuff from the other day, I see. Pants, socks, headband. First step to success. All right. Thanks for a promo shoot. She's going to appear in Hanzo, a famous magazine that features both amateur and professional gravure models. It'll be important to show off our sex appeal for the first steps towards Sonico's success. Before you begin, start with this photo shoot. You'll have to consider Sonico's position and client's request when you choose the outfit. Uh, make her appeal as a model. As a cameraman, you change your position by changing your outfit. If you want to have mainstream appeal, you should choose fashionable and trendy outfits. And if on the other hand, you want to become a niche model, dress or cosplay or other unusual outfits. 
Click check parameters to see how each piece is affecting. D try different outfits combination until you get the results you want. Clients for second quest. Uh, you must choose the outfit that meets the needs. Every client has different conditions that must be met. So our beer campaign, you should choose an outfit that will be good for the beach. If on the other hand, you won't be asked to do a sheet for men's magazine, choose something extra sexy. Find a route outfit to increase in your popularity. As Sally Coast puts the changes over the quest to receive, this will be affected and needed games to choose carefully. All right, fine. Yep, save the game. How many? Oh, I have like a lot of slots. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's see. Um, just keep going out. Okay. Hanzo, make Sonico a star. Let's see. Preview location. I guess we can only do daytime beach night. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, those are just socks and oh, okay, knee highs are. Got it. Okay, nine. Um, uh, headband design. I like how she wears the headphones and the, the headband. <laughs> it's like, all right, <laughs> this is silly. Okay. Preview. Oh, maybe this is just like showing what's, oh, okay. Um. Request, no, check position, here we go. Energetic, mainstream, request. Here we go. Show off her sex appeal. Okay. Got it. Um, actually, hold on. Okay. Mm, outfit, here we go. Oh, I take off shoes. None. There we go. Check position. What about bottoms? Pants? Nope. I don't know if that went up or further down. No, that definitely went down. Okay. Back. Bikini. Let's just go pink. Fuck it. Okay. That's a cute look. I don't know. That's just me, though. Yeah, let's do that. Start shoot. Yep. I'm thinking from a woman's perspective where I'm like, this is cute and sexy. In its own way, right? Okay. I'll do my very best. I fucking shoot. Ah!
Oh no! Whoops. Man! I fucked up. The shoot ends without incident. I take the pictures home, select the ones I like, and do some fine tuning. Then I send them to Kitamura, and from there, the client checks them out. But it doesn't end there like it did when I was working for my mentor. A few days after I deliver the pictures, I'm doing some work in the office. Hmm. I can't concentrate on my work. Oh, hey. I checked the display. It's Kitamura. Good morning. Yes, hello, hello. Thank you for all your hard work. My heart's pounding. Have you heard anything? Indeed, I have. Your most recent photos were received very well. They're popular with both readers and the clients. Really? Glad to hear it. I calmed down a bit that I start getting excited for a different reason. I've never been praised like this before. Yes, I'm looking forward to next time. As am I. Well, I'll contact you when I have another job. Goodbye now. I forgot to give her breaks. I fucked up. Yeah, I feel huge sense of accomplishment. Is this what it's like to love your job? Oh, this time it's a text. Hello? It's Sonico. This is Sonico. Thanks for everything you've done for me. Thanks, girl. Sounds like our last job went really well. Yeah, I feel like I should have done it again. Hey. I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best. I like I'm nervous over text, like, bro. Oh, is this our teacher again? Yoo hoo! Who's this? What? You're terrible, Gramps. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, your trouble as always. What do you want? I made another move on him. I just can't seem to leave him be. So I'm gonna keep cheering those two on. Gah, stop making so much trouble. She hung up. Where the hell is this headed? So many questions. So many motives. Yes. Uh, let's do this. Bright future. Okay. If I'm really tempted, I could always go back on that last one. So the shoot will be at the beginning of the week, and I'll deliver the pictures on Thursday. I'll receive the design on Friday and return it by Monday morning. 
Yes, I understand. I look forward to working with you. Phew. Yes, this is our... Oh, hello. Thanks for all your support. No, of course not. It was due to the model's Thailand. Right. Yes, I think that will fit with the work we will have next week. Yes. Yes, I'll tell him. I hope we'll be working together again soon. Goodbye. The phone is practically ringing off the hook. So busy. Man, how popular. My mentor is. Damn. <laughs> Aw, I fell back into my office chair and let a little groan. I glanced over at Sonico's picture. Her smile makes my heart ache. The job we just did was pretty well perceived, so a lot of people just saw her pictures. Unfortunately, a good photo shoot doesn't necessarily lead to more work immediately. Sonico and I are still rookies. Should I do some advertising on my own? Hmm. Darn, I'm starting to get depressed. I heat up my lunch in the microwave and look for a talk show on my phone's TV. I'm attracted to kind of shows. I can't keep up with my mentor's conversation topics at all. Oh, telephone show king is on. Hi. Hi. I've been worried about my hairline lately. Oh, really? I'm also worried about my body fat percentage. Oh, really? We're off to a good start today. Oh, really? I've heard the world's ending tomorrow. Oh, really? The audience is cold as usual, but Camo, the host, remains unflappable. Let me introduce our guest today. Today we have the famous photographer, Mr. Romero Iguchi. Welcome to the show. I almost dropped my chopsticks. A jaunty tune plays as a slender man with a sort of long hair I haven't seen so much lately walks onto the stage. Ah, I see. Hello, nice to meet you, chamo. Yes, great to have you here. Did you get a haircut? Ha, no, it's always looked like this. Ha ha. He straightens up and brushes the back of his hair. A shrill cheer erupts from the audience. Amore! That's the reaction I'm looking for. If you'd like me to take your picture, just call. But only if you're ready to be changed by the experience. He weeks, showing off his sparkling white teeth. All I can say about his outlandish manner is that they're equally obnoxious and flamboyant. You sure you are something? I hear business is booming. No, not at all. He gives an exaggerated shrug. The audience bursts into laughter. It's rare for such a young photographer to be so famous. I suppose so. Well, this may sound odd, but I can only apologize for so much for having such talent, you know? I make my subject shine, but I end up shining even more. That's just the kind of guy I am. Well said. I can feel my blood beginning to boil. What's with this guy? Is it beat a photographer about drawing out the true nature of your model? Any fame you earn should be a result of that. Is there another young photographer who you'd consider a rival? I bet there are some out there, but I doubt any of them are as good as me. Ugh, he's really pissing me off. But I really do have what it takes to oppose him. I gulp down the rest of my food in irritation, and then return to my work with the TV on in the background. Grr. Grr! It just sounds like it's his, like, classmate from school, and that's why he's pissed. I'm as mad as an angry German kid. What? What, what the fuck does that mean? I'm as angry as that... As mad as that angry German kid, I might start smashing my keyboard any second now. What the what the fuck is this translation? What does this mean? I'll avoid sensitive work for now. Maybe I should do web research. Open my bookmarks and go to a gravure website I frequent. I'll check if anything's been written about my mentor, then look at some of the popular models. Oh, I see a familiar face. They're talking about Sonico. There's not much here yet, but still, this is awesome. We just gotta keep taking steady steps forward. There's no need to rush. It'd be nice if we had a little more work, though. Hello? Sounds like us. Fidget, fidget. A few days after the phone call, standing at my usual train station, wearing a suit for the first time in a while. Sorry to keep you waiting! Thanks, girl. My heart skips a beat. Oh no, I just got here. When I turn, I see Sonico and Kitamura too. Sorry, sorry, the train was quite packed. Um, when they arrive at the same time anyways? Oh, you saw through that, huh? <laughs> sorry, it was just a joke. The truth is, we had a lot of things to prepare, and we walked here from the office. Oh, so that's why you're with Sonico. It's an important day, but he doesn't seem worried at all. I guess he is a veteran manager, despite the creepy mask. Not to mention my mentor sees respect him. That means he's got real skills. But seriously, what's with a mask? Uh, is there something wrong? No, no, I'm I'm just fine, just a little nervous. Me too. My heart's pounding. But we've gotta do the best we can. 
All right. Yeah, let's get fucking pumped. That's the spirit. Shall we go then? Kitamura takes the lead and walks off. Sonico and I follow him into the station. Today we're having our first meeting with a major agency. It might lead to a big job. Ugh, I can't help it. I'm anxious. The three of us decide to take the train together, reach our destination in about half an hour. The agency is just a short walk from here. Kitamura takes the lead again. She seems a little more tense than usual. What should I do? Should I talk to her? But I don't want to bother if she's in deep thought. Hmm. So, um... Nothing in particular, just, um... Oh, right, I saw a thread about you the other day. She's like, oh shit, the internet! People pay attention if you really work at it, huh? Don't worry, girl. We're VTubers. That's normal. Aw, uh, she loves that we talk to her. Fuck yeah, I'll take it. Ugh, my eyes! My eyes! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Whoa. This place is huge. I'll check in at the receptionist desk. Right for me here. Get tomorrow disappears into the building. Waiting like this, it really feels real. Not that it wasn't real before. Sonico is looking up at the building as if overwhelmed by the size. I can't tell from her expression that her nervousness isn't completely gone yet. I like how you can look at her tits every time. Is something wrong? <laughs> Don't be nervous. You're doing fine, girl. Hey, don't be mean to Sonico. Suddenly, Kitamura's there. His eyes gleam beneath the mask, or at least it seems that way to me. Yeah, sir. He's terrifying. Mr. Kitamura! Oh, excuse me. Kitamura goes back side the building. I guess he was in the middle of something when he ran over. Phew, I think I lost a few years of my life there. Don't screw around too much, okay? You ain't kidding. Huh? Ah! It's the mysterious voice again! The ghost of the studio. She's here too? What's going on? Am I possessed? Crap, I'm so nervous I started to hallucinate. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Um, she's right here. Um, uh... Oh, great. Now Sonic thinks we're a fucking freak. Oh, she's kind of cute. Huh? Wow, the ghost is here! <laughs> You're so loud! Huh? You don't look dead. How rude. I'm alive, I'm human, and I'm super cute to boot. That's not very humble. And how are we supposed to tell with those sunglasses on? You're a cameraman, aren't you? You should be able to tell just from my aura. Hmm, not that you mention it. Maybe I can tell. It's the first time I've seen her, but I do think she would be classified as cute. However, mmm, <laughs> Well, what do you think, mister? Mmm, nope, not at all. She twists herself in a sexy pose, but her attempt at a lusty moan fails miserably. She's not cute at all! Ugh, what is that supposed to mean? Uh, uh, what should I do? Punch her, Sonico! Do it! Sorry to leave you like that. It's also my first time meeting her, in a manner of speaking. I guess I should thank you for all your help? I give a little bow. No question marks. I'm always helping you out. The self-proclaimed cute girl returns my bow with a little dip of her head. Oh, uh, thanks for always helping out. Sonico bows too. Wait a second. You don't know her, right, Sonico? It's a pleasure to meet you, Sonico. I'm well. You could call me Cutie Q. You? You're kind of fixing on that cute thing, huh? What's with that ridiculous name? It's not ridiculous. Fine, fine. Anyway, Q. Don't call me Q. At least make it Miss Q. Oh, whatever. Anyway, who are you exactly? Why are you here? It's just a fluke. Speaking of which, fluke kind of sounds like a dirty word, doesn't it? Know what I mean, Sonico? Huh? Huh? A hmm. No, she's too stupid, girl. Sonico's really giving some thought. She's such a good girl. I might just cry. Oh, you're so cute. I can't... 
fluking handle it. How old are you, 12? Anyways, answer my question. Who are... What's all this fuss about? Sound like Kitamuro standing behind me. Oh, Mr. Kitamuro, this weird girl. Huh? I went back around after glancing at Kitamuro for a second. But all I see is a builder where Sonico. She ran off at a really incredible speed. Damn. What? I can't even. Is she a ghost after all? Maybe I should seriously consider hiring an exorcist. Well, whatever. If everyone's fine, let's get going, yes? I'd like you two to get serious, all right? Kitamura's words gets our heads back in the gate. We head up into the building. We pass through a quiet hallway and come to stand in front of a sturdy door. Excuse me. I'm Super Sonico's manager, Kitamura. Welcome. The large door opens to an extravagant meeting room. Well, there are a lot of people in here. We're greeted by four people. They're dressed in smartly nice clean suits. I'm technically an office worker, so it should be a big deal to me. But I don't actually spend a lot of time around guys in suits. I managed to get myself under control before I feel overwhelmed. I greet everyone there. Sit in the chair I'm offered. Some business-like greetings are exchanged, and we get to the main topic of discussion. Hello, these fucking masks. Jesus. Our company has been wanting to speak with Super Sonico about this. The reason Sonico was selected by this company is because her image as a model hasn't solidified yet. Which isn't to say that she lacks individuality, as they could sense her personal charm for her promotional photos. So they not made me happy to hear. So as we discussed the other day, we are hoping to hire you and your photographer for this job. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we'd like to ask you something, Mr. Cameraman. Uh-huh. Yeah? I get a little anxious when he slowly turns to me. I've gotta calm down. But what is it, I wonder? If you had the discretion to plan the this project, what sort of campaign would you think best suits Sonico? Oh, right. Well, they just want my opinion, so I shouldn't take this super seriously, right? Let's see. I, um... Play up her innocence. I want to draw her sex appeal. She has the makings of a comedy goddess. I think we should play up her innocence. I see. Thank you very much. If we decide to hire you, we'll take down the account when we plan the shoot. Of course, they won't leave a decision that important to some unknown cameraman. Well, thank you for meeting with us today. We'll be contacting you again. Our meeting for that day ends fairly abruptly. I wonder if that's bad or not, you know? And a few days later, I go to the Sonicos agency again. Sup, girl? Okay, here's my report. We officially have the job. Glad to hear it. I relax a little. Hey now, don't lose focus. This is where we kick things up a notch. Right. He's right. I can't lose focus now. I've got to get this right. I'll give you a simple outline of our next job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Do you get the idea? I love not knowing until the day of. Yep, got it. See you, Nico? Sonico, you get it? Yes, I'll do my best. That's the spirit, you two. Sonico are totally ready for this, but... Grr, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, oh yeah. She's doing a lot. Sonico might be a bit too ready. She's getting really intense for some reason. Damn. Liar. Kitamura whispers to me and glares at Sonico. Yes? Sonico's pretty fragile when she's like this, so I'm leaving her to you. It'll be easier for her to talk to you than to me. Huh? Is mental support part of the job description too? Isn't that her manager's job? Mr. Cameraman. Oh. Hi. Let's get fired up. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah! We're gonna do it. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah! She's just a baby, I swear. I end up doing war cries with Sonico for a bit. By the time I realize how low we're being, Pandagawa is actually scolding us. Aww, we're in trouble. <laughs> She's so sad. After being chased out of the office, Sonico and I head home. Maybe Kitamura tests me now. 
He asked me to walk Sonica home again. I'm sorry, Mr. Cameraman. Um, well, I don't know what to say. I love her hat. She's actually super cute in all her clothes. Nah, it's cool. I'm really sorry. Where on earth has her precious enthusiasm gone? I guess she took Pandagawa's yelling at her pretty hard. Well, it's good to hear you got so much energy now, right? Damn. I know I need to work hard. And I do try. But I guess I messed up again. No, girl. Say it ain't so. You think so? I thought about her this back when we met up with her, too. But Sanko's really got an interesting tempo to her. It's not that she's mysterious, per se. I don't think it's all that bad, though. Uh, really? Of course. Sonico's shoulders slump even further. I'm doing my very best, but people don't always seem to get that. I'm always causing trouble. It's okay, you're doing your best, girl. No way, I think they totally get that you're doing your best. Really? Yeah, everyone understands. Besides, no one thinks it's trouble, at least I sure don't. So keep on keeping on, okay? Thank God. Good. I'd worry about you if you didn't. <laughs> Thank you. It feels a little strange to talk to you, Mr. Cameraman. What do you mean? Strange. I guess it calms me down. God, I love her. Hmm. It's hard to put into words. I just feel comfortable. Like I could talk to you about anything really yeah thank god <laughs> you're really nice mr cameraman will you confess my your love for me nah nothing special about that huh that's weird i was supposed to be the one encouraging her but what sonico just says means she trusts me right makes me happy to hear that Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Why is she wearing mittens in this weather? Hot damn. She parts with me, waving her arm energetically. I was worried about her while we were walking, but it looks like she's in a good mood again. It makes me really happy that Sonico seems to trust me now. If we've managed to build that kind of relationship, I bet I could take some great pictures. Yeah, I gotta give it all I've got. Damn. I think whenever we get the next save point, um, I am definitely going to end stream for today because it's, 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 I don't know if this game is super duper long, but I'm also like, I'm getting hungry and I haven't eaten today yet. Finally, the day of the shoot comes. All right. What do we do? Let's go over the request one more time. A rucksack, small girly rucksack includes variety of designs for variety of outfits, a jacket, for business of formal and worn by athletes, stay worn on the bench. This style can be worn a fashion item as well. And a long sleeve t shirt. Okay. Other long sleeve t shirt. Another t shirt. And hot pants. Standard for gravity bottles. Look at those beautiful legs. Shorts. These expose less, but give a more energetic impression. They're great for outdoor activities. Ankle socks. Okay. Over knee socks, okay. Certain fetishes. Boots. Casual convenient no matter how your destination. Knee high boots. Oh, they really gave us like a shit ton of stuff. Goes great with ponytail sample energy. Chase the current fashion. Okay. I can do that. Big chance. The famous magazine Saint Snaw has chosen Sonic as this month's concept girl. Put her in the trendiest spring fashion. Got it. Okay. Yeah, let's save the game here, and we will come back to this next time. I'll just save over this one. Alright, let's see. Oh. oh, she looks cute. I like that. So I wonder if this is the fit they want us to put her in. Check position. 
Because they want trendy spring, right? Trendy spring fashion. No, it has to be a little bit more mainstream. That's the problem. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, well, if anything, I am going to work on this next time. I think this was fun. I really enjoyed this. I love Super Sonico. She's like fucking awesome in her own weird little way. And the fact that it's by Jessica Negri too, I'm just like, oh, fuck yeah. But uh, thank you for everyone who kind of joined today. Uh, this was fun just to get back into it slowly for the week with a new game uh, after the last couple of weeks. So we'll definitely pick this up next week for sure. Tomorrow we'll, we will be back in the late afternoon-ish, mostly because I got work super early. I don't know if I will play along either, but we'll, we'll still try our best. We still got a lot of stuff coming up in the next couple weeks. All right, let's actually see if there's anyone streaming right now so I can raid. Um, Twitch. Here we go. Let's see, who the fuck is around right now? I don't think that, that many people actually. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Raid, raid. Where the fuck is here? My dumbass can't read. Following events. Um. Yeah, there really isn't a lot of people up right now outside of like, you know, people that I know. So fuck it. I think for the moment, I'm just gonna. Actually, let's do this. We're gonna do a uh, Carla. And we'll see what happens. All right. Thank you again to everyone. I hope everyone had a fantastic time today. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.